All right, let's do some mathity math. It says here, read the questions below and answer accordingly. Okay, fair enough. So let's see here. It says, first, find the equation of the line passing through point 0.74, okay, and that is parallel to the line with the equation y equals 7x plus 8. Okay, so what this question is doing is it's kind of testing to see first, do you understand what it means when lines are parallel? Okay, so when lines are parallel, that means they have the same slope. So let, let's break this down step by step. If you said y equals mx plus b, that's a slope intercept form where m is the slope. So if we're trying to build this equation of the line, right? We're trying to build this. When you're trying to build the equation, you need two things. You need the slope and you need the b value, which is the y-intercept or where your line crosses the y-axis. So we're in luck because they said it's parallel. Well, we already know the slope. The slope would be the same as this line, right? And so if this is y equals 7x plus 8. This line's slope is 7, and because our lines are parallel, our line uh, will have a slope of 7. So if you fill this in right now, so now I know that whatever my answer is going to be, it's going to be y equals 7x plus b. Okay, so now we've got to find this b. So if you think about this, at this point we have 1, 2, 3 three unknowns and so we got to get rid of two of those unknowns and isolate this b value and we do that because we know that the line we're looking for passes through this point seven four and this is an x and this is a y right so we know it's going to pass through this x y point and so we can literally just put those x's and y's into here because it's saying at some point on this line x will be 7 and y will be 4. So I'm just going to plug in those x's and those y's. So instead of y I'm going to write 4 equals 7. Instead of x I'll write 7 which is just the same as my slope in this case plus b. Okay? 7 times 7 is 49 so I get 4 equals 49 plus b. And now I subtract 49 from both sides. So I'm going to find out that b equals negative 45. So now I have my b value. And now I can take that, stick it in right here, and that would be my answer. So my answer is y equals, my slope is 7, and my b value is negative 45. And that is the equation of the parallel line. And it would be parallel to this line, and you know that because the slopes are the same. Okay, let's go check out the next one. It says, find the equation of the line passing through point 7 to 4. Okay, same song and dance. Oh, but this time it is perpendicular to the line with the equation y equals 7x plus 8. Okay, so the idea here is that when a slope is perpendicular, um, I'm sorry, when, two line, when a line is perpendicular, its slope has the, um, the opposite reciprocal. So here the slope is 7, the opposite reciprocal is 7, and, and sometimes it'll look something like this, uh, the opposite reciprocal, right? So instead of 7, we actually would have negative 1 over 7, right? That's the opposite reciprocal. So going back over here to fill in, we'd say y equals, and my m value is negative 1, 7, x plus B. Using the same idea, let me scoot down here for you. Do, 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 do. Using the same idea of just plugging in the x's and y's to isolate the b, and we're just pretty much doing the same thing we did a second ago. So my y is 4, so I get 4 equals negative 1, 7, and then my x is 7 plus b. Simple multiplication, 4 equals negative 7 over 7 plus b. This is like negative 1. So 4 equals negative 1 plus b. We add 1 to both sides. b is 5. And so now we just plug this in. And we're done. So your answer is y equals negative 1 7th x plus 5. Voila. 
That's your perpendicular line. And you did it. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to be notified when more math and math is coming your way, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.